um, after thinking about it, I think we should really give this fucking Giants team, um, another fucking chance. Uh, and now, I will say this. I still think Dave Guttelman's a bum. Um, I still think Andrew Thomas is a bum, even though he didn't play that badly on Sunday. Um, I think all the motherfucking tackles suck. Every last one of them. I think the entire fucking offensive line sucks. Uh, I still think we are a badass fucking trash ass fucking football team. Um, but I think tomorrow having the Washington football team coming up fucking helps us. Uh, for some reason, that's the only fucking team Daniel Jones knows how to consistently win against. Um, for some fucking reason, Washington can never seem to keep a damn quarterback healthy and upright. Um, so, yeah, I think tomorrow would be a good fucking chance for us to really bounce back from Sunday's fucking debacle. Um, now, I do think we're going to win tomorrow. Uh, and it's funny because I, I guarantee you it's going to be a strong-ass fucking victory. And they're going to have us all fucking excited and happy and shit. And they're going to get our asses fucking beat by the Dolphins and the Falcons and the Bears and all these other fucking, you know, teams that we, the Rams, you know, all these fucking teams that we play this year. And, um, yeah, that's the annoying part about it. Um, so, <sighs> Taylor Heineke is playing tomorrow. Taylor Heineke, Taylor Heineke, whatever the, f I think it's, I think it's Heineke. I think that's how you pronounce his last name, like the fucking beer. Um, he played in the uh, damn playoffs last year. He Obviously, he played a little bit last week. Um, we shouldn't be losing to this motherfucker. Okay, I'm not going to straight out call him fucking bad. But if we get... If, if he does what Bridgewater did to us on Sunday, we have a fucking problem. And it might go far beyond Jason Garrett. And speaking of Jason Garrett... If you really want to, really, really, if you really want to win games, because right now you guys ain't playing like you want to win, but let's just assume that, you know, with this wild-ass fucking chance that you actually do want to win football games, how about you open up this fucking offense, Jason Garrett? You got, he's a bum, but you got one of the fastest, and he didn't play on Sunday, but you got one of the fastest fucking tight ends in the NFL. You got Sterling fucking Shepard, who's extremely elusive. You got Kenny Galladay, who's a deep threat wide receiver. You got Kadarius Toney, who you shouldn't have fucking drafted, but he is one of the fastest players on our team. Uh, you got fucking Darius Slayton, who obviously we know how fucking fast he is. We know how fast Saquon Barkley is. Your fucking offensive line is trash, so you, you can't just rely on power football because they're bums. You really have no other choice. Oh, and your quarterback is also um, a dual-threat quarterback. He's fast. He has a strong arm. How about you rely on some of these fucking strengths of our offense and stop trying to run the ball down people's throats and shit with this offensive line? I mean, come on. You're trying to run the ball. Like, this isn't fucking Dallas, okay? We don't have Tyron Smith. We don't have Lyle Collins and Zach Martin and I know he's not playing anymore, but you don't have fucking Travis Frederick at, uh, at fucking center. Okay? I like, you got Andrew Thomas, you got Matt fucking Pert slash Nate Salter, doesn't matter. They all look the same, to be honest with you. You got trash-ass Nick Gates, who I'm almost positive owns a portion of the fucking football team now because this man can't seem to find his way off this team to save his damn life, or save our lives, I should say. Um, open this fucking offense up. Like, seriously. I mean, what the fuck is with the generic-ass plays? It's like this motherfucker went on Madden and printed out, like, he just he just clicked on Ask Madden, you know, and they just gave him the suggested fucking plays, and then he just went in the fucking, the mic and was just, went in fucking Daniel Jones' ear and was just like, yeah, we're gonna run this fucking shit 70% uh, of this fucking game. It's stupid. You don't have the fucking, you don't have the offense to run generic fucking plays. You shouldn't run generic fucking plays anyway, but you don't have the offense to do it. I think we win tomorrow because Washington ain't about shit. Um, I will say if we lose tomorrow, I am deeply fucking concerned, okay? Um, oh, as for defense, stop fucking blitzing 24 the fuck 7. I get you have no pass rush. I, I really, really, really pray that one day this team will wake up and break the bank in free agency for a fucking 
pass rusher or draft one in the first round. Yes, at least Ojolari looked pretty good yesterday, but he can't do it by himself. All right? We need more fucking pressure. You can't keep fucking blitzing all the time. It's ridiculous. So, um, with that fucking being said, I think the Giants win tomorrow, I don't know, tw uh, 21 to 10. That's my fucking, uh, you know, that's my prediction. Uh, this Taylor Heineke guy, if he walks up into Washington, I believe it's a away game, he walks up into fucking Maryland and whoops our ass, just take Dave Gettleman and just don't even fire him. Just leave him there. Just leave him in whatever hotel you guys are staying at. Sneak out at night. It doesn't matter if you win. A, I'm going to be honest with you. This shit really should happen if we win or lose. But if we lose the way we lost on Sunday, just leave Gettleman there. He... He's collecting enough paychecks to get himself home. Just leave him there. Don't even fire him. Just quickly head back to fucking, you know, Jersey and just delete all his fucking passwords and shit. And let's just fucking restart because this is fucking bullshit.